All right. All right. Well, here Thank we you. are. Hello. Yes, sir. Here we so go. there Back we were, and here we are again. Hi. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, sir. I'm Ken. This is my beautiful wife, beautiful birthday wife, Veronica. Oh, here I am. Oh, ow. Crack clay, building a fair-proof marriage God's way. We just did that trash skit, and we love doing that because of the trash that we take and we go back and get it. And Jesus says, give it to me. I'll set you free. That's what he wants us to do. Honey, I got five little things here. I'm going to say... I'm going to say something about my wife, five different things. One of these is not true. I want you to tell me which one's not true. Okay? My lovely, beautiful wife, she's got a miraculous story. I want you to know about tonight. On the day after her birthday. At one time, my beautiful bride used to weigh 250 pounds. One. Two. At one time, she used to be a size 22 to 24. Three, she would discipline her kids by belly dancing to them. Four, Veronica is a beach body coach. And five, Veronica would rather have her cake and eat it. Veronica would rather have her, would rather have no one come to her party so she could have her cake and eat it too. Yes, it's fine. Number five. My lovely wife, I did not marry her for her cooking because I don't like to get heavy either. I want to stay in shape. That's important to me as it's important to her. So I don't need a lot of kids. Being a beach body coach. So I don't want to. So we I do really want a lot of people at my party too. Not only because I, I don't want to eat on my cake, but why? Because I love people. I love people. That's what the first one was about. Mm -hmm. My first one's asked today because she's a people lover just like me. There's not one cynical bone in her body. You know, people always say opposites attract. We're pretty similar in most ways. What helps us in our strengths and weaknesses, we both had a lot of the same strengths, but some weaknesses where we kind of mix and match, which is good. But you know who our captain is? Jesus. He wants us to do it the right way, which is the biblical way. And that is what we go by in sweetheart. But I just want my sweetheart just to tell you, can I just show us a little picture of the people? Let me put it up close to it. My beautiful wife. 2006. 2006. That was my beautiful wife. I didn't know her back then. But around 2006, she did something that she really needed to do. Back here when she was 250 pounds. You know what my beautiful bride did? She hired a personal trainer. Boy, you can't do it on your own, guy. You gotta have someone there to help you. Simultaneously, a year later, I didn't know her then. I asked Jesus into my heart 13 years ago and the Holy Spirit came into my heart and radically changed me. So we're using that because of, I needed Jesus. She needed a personal trainer. And through those times of her, the trainer getting on her and getting in the gym and watch what you eat, boy, she started that, that road to get him back to where she wanted to be. She was 250 then. I met her when she's like almost 170 or so is when I met her. We, were, we started to date. And for to this day, some of the greatest joys I have is when she would go in that dressing room and she would go down a 12 or 13 and I would throw over a 10 in the dressing room. I said, honey, try this on just for fun. I could hear sobbing. But then that door opened. And there I could see my, 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 the girl I was dating then coming out of that door. And I was thinking, boy, less of her, more of Jesus. Every time her, she smiled. I remember two weeks later, we did the same thing. And I, and she was, she tried on a 10 and an eight. I said, here, honey. Didn't tell her what the side was. I threw it over the, I remember not, this was just like being there. Threw it over the door. I said, honey, try this one on. Don't look at the side, just for fun. Mm -hmm. And she came out just glowing. Less of me, more of Jesus. And she came out of that dressing room. And I remember two weeks later, two weeks later, finally got down. She tried on a four. And I said, I'm not really going to get this down. I put a one or a zero over there. And she tried it on. 
two or one of the just Two as minutes. small as you can get. Super small. Extra small. She tried that on that blouse, those pants. It even looked a little big. She was so tender. She cried. Because she went from there and she met her goal. She was so excited to get back where she wanted to be. Now, was that it? No. In the meantime, when I gave my life to Jesus, yeah, the Holy Spirit was, the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit was in me to help me during this course of getting closer to Jesus. I had to have the Holy Spirit into me, but I also had to live for him. How do I do that? Well, I want to join a church that teaches the true gospel. I want to go to a Sunday school class that I can meet with other friends and teach the true gospel because she couldn't do it on her own, just like we couldn't go to battle on our own. We need other fellow soldiers with us. I need to read my Bible every day. We do that every day. We read the Bible. We pray. Sometimes we get on our knees. We read through the Bible every day. We read through the Bible and study it. Not just read it, but we learn it, study it, apply it. We, uh, we pray. Accountability part we have to. But having other godly Christian friends that speaks volumes to each other. But when I'm doing that, then my, then my beautiful wife was doing that. Because if one thing to get off is one thing to keep it off. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. and, that, and she had to keep it off. So even now, we have to, I have to, we have to have the full armors of God to stand the darts of the devil who's out to deceive and destroy us. It's amazing how people blame God for everything, but when Adam and Eve sin, the devil's the prince of this universe. So he's the one that's out to deceive and destroy you. Jesus says, I'll come and give you life and give life more abundantly. But look how my wife, I know you just want to say something about it, the transform she was. It's just miraculous. People need to know this story. Her birthday was yesterday. And what a joy to be able to celebrate her birthday because she's so precious. Uh, you she's so beautiful. The other quiz. Yeah. Here's the first quiz. Here's the first quiz I said today at her birthday party. Which of these is not true about my sweetheart, A. Eh? She has been on commercials and she does parts and she has done parts in a Christian movie. Two, she has three boys. Three, she has three mothers. Four, she's been adopted twice. Five, her blood type is B negative because she's such a pessimist. There's nothing. She don't, have a, she don't have a cynical bone in her body. I love that. I love it that she's so positive. You know, I always say, I always say many times about my sweetie, what, honey, what, what do you want for your birthday? She said, take me somewhere I've never been. I took her to the kitchen. That's because I tease her because I don't care about the food part. Really, I, I'm happy eating Shakeology shakes. I'm happy with that. And eating healthy. I want to do that. And that's true of my spiritual life. I want to be healthy. I don't, because there's three circles. In, in my addict, in my addict, my sexual addict that I was, there's three circles. In recovery. Yeah, my recovery, recovery sexual addict. Now, number one is the crash. The other circle is the guardrails. The circle around that is the healthy. I want to stay healthy. I know my shortcomings. Go ahead, sweetie. Double tax. So today healthy. I was talking about uh, um, when Tim talks about when we were in the dressing room, when he would hand over clothes to me in the dressing room, and I would look at those sizes on there and I thought, he has lost his mind. Why does he think I can wear a four and then a two and then a zero? And I would get like, really nervous putting them on because I didn't see myself as that person who had lost all the weight. I still looked in the mirror and saw the old person, the person who was still a size 22. I didn't see the new person. And that is, that is such an analogy to the way the Lord sees us and our sin and our shame. That when we have um, shame, so it's shameful. It was shameful to be that heavy it was shame. I was miserable, and it was a very 
difficult time and it, I was ashamed of it. And um, then as I lost the weight, I mean, Tim never even saw a picture of me that heavy until recently. This is the first time because I was so full of shame about it. And so when I would be in the mirror, you know, he's handing clothes over and I would think he's lost his mind. I can't wear that. What is he doing? And I was scared to put it on. But that, see, that's the way it is with Jesus, right? When Jesus, when we look in the mirror, the enemy tells us, you're, you're that addict. Who do you think you are that you can have anything good? You can't get it. Who, you can't, you're that adulteress. You you did this. You did that. You, you're not worthy of this. You can't have anything good in your life. You can't be a size zero or a size two. You're a size, you're a fat girl. You're 24, you're 22, you're not a zero. And that's the same thing that the devil does to us when you have that those experiences where you've fallen in your life and then the devil is telling you that that's not that's who you are. You're that person. You're that adulteress. Because you, the devil You're not, but that's not true. That's right. not true. That's who you were. Right. But in Jesus, that's not who you are. Because but the that's devil, not who right. Jesus Amen. sees. That's right. that sin if you've given your life to the Lord, has been paid for and wiped clean. And, and that's not what he sees in you. He sees the daughter of the king, the son of the king, and you are worthy of that right. size zero, that size two, whatever it is that you're trying to, what your goal is that's good for you. Because the devil tells you, you because the devil tells you, you got to clean yourself up before you go to heaven and get your... You can't be going. You got to get all right with yourself. Come on, you can. You can. No, he does it. She started the healing process when she had us someone help her. That's when she made a commitment. That's what Jesus wants to come. He wants to bring all of our trash, all of our excess weight to Him, and put it on the foot of the cross. Give it to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus, and He'll get the rest if you let Him. Because he comes in your heart and radically changes it. And you want to live for him. You know, all that stuff I said about prayer, Bible study, all that's good. But you know what that should be? That should be an overflowing of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit wants us, when we're, when we're, when we're, uh, we're being tempted, he wants us to go, Holy Spirit, I can't do this on my own. I can't say no to this. Please help me. Give me the strength to say no. And he will. That's why it's so important to memorize. So, so we started thing, with the trash. We started with trash because right. that is what, what it trash is. That's what with that weight that I was carrying around was right. a bunch of emotional baggage, right? A bunch of baggage. Tim's addiction. That that's trash. That's baggage. That's what we both Blood. carried around with us. But we have to give it to Jesus. We can't keep holding on to our piece. I can't go back and get a piece of trash back. And hold on to it and still expect to stay healthy. And we because do that, as soon okay. as I take that trash back for myself, that I'm not healthy anymore. And I'm given power to the enemy who wants to repress me and keep me from believing the truth in that my worth. And that, puts a, and that puts a barrier between us and Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus died for me. So that's why when I sin, when I sin and do something I shouldn't do, I'm so convicted by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I'm miserable at night. I'm miserable until I get it right. That's the convicting power of the Holy Spirit. He brings shame too, but I bring it, I take it to the cross. Jesus, forgive me what I did. As a Christian, I'm covered in the blood because I'm a born again Christian. I'm saved. But that's why he wants us to live for him. So sometimes we even go back to that trash. The devil knows our weakness. He knows our weakness. He knows that something pops up and what's that doing there? Oh. If we look at it, we're tempted, we click onto it, that's a different story. That's why we have to guard our, we gotta guard our lives. I'm so glad she helped guard me. I'm so glad, I want her to, because I love her. I wanna do it, not Tim's way, but God's way. And you help to guard me. I wanna sleep good at night, and, and, you I, help and me. I guard my wife and too. And you help me. That's and we why, help each other, yeah, our accountability partners. She, with her, with, with hers, and her, and what she went through, I'm so proud of her. But to be able to use her story and both our stories to show, like it says in the Bible, it profit little to be bodily exercise, but the contrast to 
having a, being a born again Christian, no beyond a shadow of doubt where we're going when we die, and that's to heaven with Him. How awesome is that? So I will do everything in my power right here, living on earth, to bring people to heaven with me, to tell people about Jesus. That's what it's all about. That's what Frat Play is all about building a fair proof marriage God's way and bringing the lost to Christ. How, if I put this, if I would have to put this before and after picture of my wife, before and after, she has done commercials on, on weight loss places. What they had before and after. No one. People, people are one. one people are this. amazed. No one they can't believe it. You can see the phone ringing off the hook. I want what she has. I want what she took. And that's a great picture of me when I was lost in my sin. And how Jesus saved me from my sin and came into my heart and made me a new creature. Now I want to live for him. Because the more I live, the more I live for Jesus, do what he right, the devil attacks me. So I can attack quite a bit. Oh, right. But you know what? Greater is he in me than he that's in the world. Only because if we do less of us and more of Jesus. Amen, sister. Precious. Huh? So, and, and, and that's one thing, like, you know, I, well, I, I, I had someone come week. to the store. I did post yeah. this week. Um, I have some. I posted this week, we can lean into it, this. I posted this week, um, the ground is level at the foot of the cross. Right. And how important this week has been, it reminded me of that. Of liberty, liberty. Is um, so, talk, go ahead. And someone came to my store the other day, a, a, a grandson of a patient, and they said, it gave me a hard time about Jerry. What a, what, a, what a time that gave me to tell him about Jesus. Because it's about Jesus. I told this young man, I said, buddy, I'm the, I was the same way. I was lost. I gave my life to Jesus. When I was even a born-again Christian, I fell. I know what Jerry's going through right now. And I know that the blood runs red. And I know he, I came clean. That's what Crack Play's all about, for being very transparent about what we've done to help others. It helps us both ways. It helps us to come clean. And we want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb to help you not to do what we did. Because Jerry, I, we want to, we don't, we don't want to, uh, kick the we don't I want to condemn the wounded. Shooting. You don't want to shoot the The church wounded. is one of the first places, is probably one of the only places that shoots their wounded, that shoots their wounded. And we're not going to condemn, we would have our Liberty shirts on again tonight, but we are dressed from my birthday. Um, so, but we are not condemning, we're not gossiping about him, we're, we don't, the, the only, it's between them and the Lord. And, and their family, and, and we're praying for him. I told this young man. And we're certainly in no position to cast right. stones. I told this young man, don't look at man. Right. Man will always let you down. Jesus, he never does. Right. He never does. We're still falling. Every mm -hmm. sin, we're, we're born in the sin. The, we, Sin's yes. normal for us. We don't want to be that way. We hate it, but we still sin. And the devil knows it. He attack. He knows our weakness, our trash. We go back to our trash. Our trash. A, a little crap, a little bit at a time. A little, bit, a little, at little time. bit at a time. It's okay. Just a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time till you've compromised it all. You justify and, sin. And you justify it till you've compromised it at all something that you thought you would never have done. So we're not throwing any stones at anybody. We are guilty. We are sinners. We have only when by was, the grace of God are we. Able yeah. to serve him and do what? When I had that affair, when I had that affair, I said, man, God, this is awesome. I know you want this for me. This feels so good. That's how devil warps our mind. And thinking good is evil and evil is good. So we are praying. The Bible. That's we are praying is. for, um, so we still stand behind liberty. We still, Amen. We still love the Falwell family. God's got and great things happening. We're, our faith is in it's Jesus, awesome. not in man. And we're praying for the Falwell family. We're praying for Liberty Ooh. University leaders as they Jonathan. move forward. And, and, and for Jonathan great and the pastor. Thomas Road. Um, yeah, so we're just praying for everybody involved. And we still love them all. Turn people loved eyes. us. People loved us. Upon Some of the Jesus. people, you never, you never uh, get anybody back to the Lord through judgment. You have well, to find that that balance of truth and grace. Truth and grace. Truth and grace, not truth or Look truth. Full and in his so we certainly do things. not take any joy in anybody's pain. 
no joy in anybody's pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. so, and the devil thinks he wins. Mm -hmm. God's going to win. And you, you keep you watching. Just, you just, God's just goes to show you always have to stay plugged in. You have to stay plugged into a Christian, to accountability, Holy to Christ. accountability people who are solid Christian believers with you that you can plug into. Can't you can alone. have an accountability partner. You can't go it alone. You're supposed to be in community with other believers. You cannot do this walk alone. And because you know what, when you're in the darkness away from those other believers, that's when the devil can get Amen. to you. Because what he can keep away from the light, conscious, he keep in the dark, and he'll keep distracting you. He from takes it. that conscious away. Mm -hmm. He starts removing it. So stay in the Word, pray, read your Bible. Go to a good Sunday school. Go class. to a good class. Go to a good small group. Like go Dr. to John a good Thomas. church. Right. Yeah, John Thomas. He's the best. If you're in That's Liberty, if you're in Thomas Road, Lynchburg. come on here. Find Christian believers that love Jesus as much as you and tell them your struggles. Tell each other your struggles. That's important. We love you guys. Have a great day. Happy birthday Thanks. to my beautiful bride. Yay. 26 I'm, plus. I'm 29, 30. Oh, it's 29? I forget how old I am. Plus tax. Don't say that tax. Well, not too heavy. No, tax. and my husband's Who's been you? very good to me. He spoiled me a lot. And I appreciate him. We love you guys. We Live love you guys. Jesus. Let us know if you have any prayer requests. Right. Turn your eyes. And we'll go back to kingdom Jesus. marriage next week. Amen. Had a brag about my wife and Jesus. <laughs>